Sperm World. Um, directed by Lance Oppenheim, who did a movie that I really liked called Some Kind of Heaven. Uh, that was a really well shot documentary and it was really interesting. Shout out for, for subtitles, but also not shout out for no 4K, okay? Baby dust. Baby dust. Okay, this one's loud again. I have to turn it down. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was like a horrendous one night stand, but then I got to go on with my life. Instantly. I'm oh, sperm, sperm donation. Okay. Was interesting. Donating sperm makes me feel good. <laughs> sperm banks have a lot. This seems fun. Okay. His his previous documentary was able to capture the right characters. It was it just followed like a few people, but they were also interesting and funny. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, is, you know, has the same strengths. A lot of issues. We're the competition out there. You have a good one. We're just online donors. That's all we're doing. Yoo-hoo! Speedy delivery. <laughs> Sorry, was this was this a shot of cum? Do we have to censor this? Or It's so funny if you think about it. Like, you zoom in far enough and then you don't have to censor it. Like, if you show a molecule. Human beings are silly. Yoo-hoo! Speedy delivery. Here you go. I just want so desperately to be a mom. But I have medical professionals who are saying this really isn't recommended. I could die if I make this choice. What? Oh, if you become pregnant. You are a true warrior in my book, and it will be my honor to help create this little miracle with you. Heart emoji. I determined it is. For a second, I, I thought she was like, I could die if I become pregnant via sperm donor, but not if it was not a sperm donor. I would get confused for a second. I determined it is Hello, important Target. enough for me to take that risk. That's a good five milliliters. Hmm. In the States, you can get paid for donating sperm. Whereas I don't think you can get paid for that in Canada. <laughs> Here's my fiance with a specimen cup. You guys have any kids? Should I donate sperm? Should I do that? Should I go to the States and come into a cup and have illegitimate children everywhere? Well, not together. A bunch of little atoms. No. And like you guys all text and be like, um, do you have these dates available? <laughs> wow. Does anyone want my sperm? I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I have 138 children. <laughs> I spent a week with each of them, and I'd only get to see them every few I'm not even looking at chat. I'm not even going to read chat now. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Here's. <laughs> My mommy says that a swan drops off the baby. You think you came from a swan? Yeah. Okay. Then why am I Emerson's dad? Isn't the bird the dad? Idiot. You know? <laughs> All right. Now we... This looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like... So far... So far... Compelling... And excited, and especially because he made his previous film, which I think was his debut, was really great. So, looking forward to it. You don't think any of this is God's will? King David had plenty of kids. If I was to conceive a child, have a child, and then die, are you going to feel guilty about that? This is kind of interesting that it's coming out at a time where there's like a lot of debate over surrogacy. You know? Which is kind of funny that there is. Uh, just seems to be another people making up a reason to get mad at something for no reason. But yeah, it is. It is well shot. His last film was really well shot too. Somebody else just messaged. Like a really like you don't see a lot of documentaries that look this nice. Like this shot's great. Um, it's nice to have something that is set up in a way where it almost kind of like appears as if it's. Not a documentary, you know. Me, they want a donation. Is this the life you intended to live? Look at the beauties. Uh oh. 
Don't let the bunny donate sperm. Beauty water. These kids are amazing. How many shots of cum are we going to see in this documentary? <laughs> Where are you going, bro? Uh, yeah, I got someone ovulating in the next room. I'm going to make a donation. Entertain the kids for a minute. I would lock the door. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> okay, looks cool. The first cum type film. Hulu. Okay. We got a Disney. We got Dis Dis Disney cummies coming up. We're we're coming up D Disney. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. I'm gonna watch list that right now. Hey everybody, Olivia here. It's March 2024, so let's speed run this fucking Patreon list. Michael Bradley, Sam3824, Brock H, Clarice Carlson, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Silverwind, Toby White, Jonah Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, www.openclassactions.com, Emil Blank, Judum the Kinslayer, T King, Sliv88, Electrica is an Ordinary Bad Gamer, Yup, 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 The Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gabriel Herrera, Lemonade Warriors participating in the hit game Among Us, it's considered the encroacher. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Or you guys rock. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like this video is just a bit too short. So I'm going to go over some Q&A questions if you guys don't mind. If you're just here for Adam, you can shut the video off now. Don't worry about it. What is your favorite and least favorite DreamWorks film? Uh, my favorite DreamWorks film is Puss in Boots The Last Wish. I fucking love that movie. It is the best thing DreamWorks has ever made, by far. Least favorite DreamWorks film, Boss Baby. Boss Baby was absolute fucking torture to watch. It was so fucking agonizing and awful. I hated it so much. It's fucking garbage. What's your favorite video game? Um... Persona 4 Golden is, like, really up at the tippy top. That's, like, one of the first ones I go to when I think of my favorite games, but it's really hard to quantify. Because there's other games that I like for different reasons. Like, I love Elden Ring and, like, Dark Souls 1, but I don't love those for the same reason that I love Persona 4 Golden. Uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is also, like, one of my favorites, like, all-time faves. But overall, I'm, like, a huge Persona fan. I am a sucker for pretty much any Persona game, even the spinoffs. Anyway, that'll do for the Q&A section. Thanks for watching, as always. Bye!